Bible said, if a soul shall sin through ignorance against any of the commandments of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh concerning things which ought not to be done, he shall do against any of them. So, even in your ignorance, you are sinning against your how about Shem Yahweh Shai, man. But you're going to steal, there's still uh, uh, penalties for that, man. Let me repeat that again. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 4, verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a soul shall sin through ignorance, so like you, against any of the commandments of the Lord concerning things, which ought not to be done and shall do against any of them. So, one of the commandments is what? Idolatry, man. One of the commandments that we should not do is worship idolatry, man. And celebrating Christmas, Thanksgiving, is actually worshiping idolatry, man. Those um, holidays go back to paganistic uh, uh, rituals, man. That's what those holidays go back to, man. And that's a form of uh, worshiping idolatry, man. And that's a commandment, man. And those of Israel that are doing that, ignorant, under, you know, under ignorance, you're, there's still a penalty for that, man. Repeat that again. The book of Leviticus, chapter 4, verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a soul shall sin through ignorance against any of the commandments of the Lord concerning, th concerning things which ought not to be done, and shall do against any of them, if the priest that is anointed do sin according to the sin of the people, then let him bring for his sin which he have sinned a young bullock without blemish unto the Lord for a sin offering. So, back in that time, before the sacrifice of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shem Yahweh the priest sacrificed a unblemished of you know, an unblemished, uh, unblemished me, unspotted, you know, cow, sheep, or, or, or things of that nature, man. Or bullock. But they made sacrifices to cover their sins, man. We're under grace, but we shall still, we shall uh, still honor the law, the Lord's uh, uh, covenant, man, which is the the commandments. We shall still honor that, man, even though we're under uh, grace. Let me, see, let me let me get that.
Like, give me one sec. This is the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 14. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you, so like it, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? Yahweh forbid. So, even if because we are under grace, we still should not forsake the laws, man. Let me, let me repeat that again. This is the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse four, 14. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin because we are, we are not under the law, but under grace? Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh shall forbid. So Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, even though we're under grace, forbid you not to go off, man. So we're supposed to uh, obey the uh, ancient covenant, the ancient covenant of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and David, as they did, man. We're supposed to uh, obey that, man. That's an ancient covenant. That's why we're that's why we're being punished today, man, because of our transgression against the holy of uh, the holy covenant, man, of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. That's the reason why we're in the predicament that we're in, man, because of our iniquities, man. But we're under grace, and the true man of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is seeking grace and mercy from the Most High, man. That for we, you know, that's that's one of our biggest uh, hopes, man. We're prisoners of, prisoners of hope is to be a part of that precious elk, man. The 144,000, man. That's what we're striving to be. We don't know who the elect is. We just hope and have hope. The true brothers of the Ha'abah Shem Shai have hope that we're a part of that precious elk, man. Repeat that again. The book of Romans chapter 6, verse 14. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah forbid. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom 
ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. Because sin, the wages of sin, man, is death. And righteousness is everlasting life, man. That's what the wages of sin is, man. So if you continue to uh, celebrate these holidays like Thanksgiving, which was the uh, downfall of our brother Gad, which is uh, called the Native Americans or Indians. If you celebrate that those things, man, you're going off, man. You're actually sinning. You're worshiping ignorant your, through your ignorance or not. You're worshiping uh, a false paganistic ritual, man. Which is a which is a idol worshiping, man. Which goes along with Islam, uh, Buddhism, Hinduism, and the most grip that it has on our uh, the nation of Israel. She's a Bojir, man, fake white man Jesus. Those are idolatries, man, which is an abomination to the Lord, man. Let's go back to the book of Jeremiah 51. And seven, Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand and made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken the, her wine. So lucky. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. So these nations going to be fed up with Esau Edom, man. That's including the allies, the so-called allies of the United States, man. They're going to be fed up with Esau Edom's bullshit, man. <laughs> They're going to be fed up Some of them already are They don't even accept the petrol dollar man The fiat currency The Federal Reserve note man That's owned by the Rothschild family Which is one of the banking families of The super elite Banking family Of Esau Edom man The Rothschild family owns the Federal Reserve man It's a privately owned company Owned by the Rothschild family man that's who owned these Federal Reserve notes, these Babylonians here in, 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 in um, AKA America, depend upon their, you know, their livelihood, man. Those, those, that fiat currency that you depend upon, you know, to get what you need to sustain, you know, your life here in Babylon the Great, is owned by the Rothschild family, man. They just print money out of thin air, man. So it has no value whatsoever. That's what fiat currency is. It doesn't. It's not baked. It's not backed on the gold or silver standard that is stated in their constitution, man. And it's stated. That's why they're they're hypocrites, man. And it's stated right there in their constitution that uh, gold and sil silver is a legal tender, man. Gold and silver coins. It didn't say paper or fiat or Federal Reserve notes, man. So they're hypocrites, man. They're the biggest criminals, the biggest thugs, the biggest drug dealers, the biggest pimps on the planet, man. But they try to demonize others, man, and make themselves look good. How you think this stuff is getting across the border, man? They control the border. They got border patrol. They got customs. They got the National Guard. How you think this stuff is going into this country, man? Because they allow this stuff to go in, like the opium crisis. There's already footage out there by that uh, reporter. This was back in, what, the 90s, maybe. Uh, Gerardo Rivera, I think that's that guy's name. But this was back This was back when they first invaded uh, Afghanistan, man. That Gerardo Rivera went there and filmed uh, one of the... the, the high-ranking officials there and asked them what was going on, man. And they allowed uh, the farmers there to um, flourish in the production of the opium uh, uh, or the poppy seeds. 
which which produces opium. The opium before uh, the invasion of the United States into Afghanistan, the opium production was at ten percent, man. The world uh, around the world it produced ten percent of the world's opium prior to the invasion of the United States. After the invasion of the United States, it produced Afghanistan produced. 90% of the world's opium, man. So right there, it lets you know. Y'all been over there for 20 odd years, man. So you didn't, you didn't uh, sustain or try to eliminate the trafficking of drugs. You increased it, man. And there's uh, so-called, when there's high-ranking officials in the military, they admitted this on camera, man. So this stuff, Esau, Esau Edom has been, been exposed, man. They're the biggest drug dealers on the planet, man. Biggest pimps, biggest uh, 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 war war mongers, biggest uh, uh, gun 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 traders. They got this um, uh, movie called what is it, War Dogs or something? And then there's one that that dude uh, I think his name Nicholas Cage. I forgot the name of that one. He played on how they go from country to country, just selling arms to who the fuck ever, man. Allies or not, they just trying to get. They just trying to get back, and they condone this, man. And whenever they do get caught, it be a slap on the wrist, man. They don't. They don't get much time, man. If they. If they do. If the ones that do. Um. Uh, yeah, like I said, the, for the ones that of Esau, even they do get caught, they don't get. They don't get much time, man. You get a slap on the wrist, a fine or whatnot. Then, it, then it's you know business as usual, man. Just like the, just like uh, 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 over there in South America, man. The uh, the dude, um, uh, what's his name? The contra, the contra uh, mission. Oliver North, I think, yeah, that's his name, Oliver North, that dude, funding, you know, to fund, to fund his clandestine on wars in South America, the United States wasn't against it, they said that we, we're not going to um, aid you in doing it, so he had to come up with ways of funding his clandestine wars in South America, and how did he do it? With the smuggling in of cocaine, man, and I think what what's his name? Uh, Tom Cruise played in a, a movie about that, man. But that stuff been out. You know what I'm saying? So Esau Edom is being exposed, man. That's why the United States and all these other countries are in the condition that they're in, and they're trying to blame it war on drugs. But they're the, they're the ones that obey. It. They're they're the ones that are aided in obeying these drugs, the production. And the, tra and the trafficking of these drugs, man. War, war on, war on, uh, what is it? All these so-called wars, man. That's, 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 that's the, that's the ideology of Esau Edom, man. He can't, that, that's, that's how he, uh, pretty much handles situation, man, by going to war, man. United States being in war, in a high 90 percentile of it of its existence, man. Over 200, what, 250 some odd years, the United States been at war. Out of 200 and what, the the the, the creation of the United States, which was roughly like 260 years. Out of 250 some odd years, they've been at war, man. So that's only how this man can settle things out, man, through war. And there's gonna be a total destruction here. That's going to be, it's right around, death is right around the corner, man, for a lot of these Israelites that don't repent, man, that don't get the Lord's word. This is this is not from me, man. This is from the Most High, man. We're only doing what we were um, commanded to do, which warn the lost sheep of Israel, man, that um, the devil has come down with great wrath because he knows that he had but a short time, man. You know, these gas prices going up. They already talk about inflation. The, the, the prophets, the men, the men of the Lord been telling you this, man. 
there's going to be a, a hyperinflation. With things going to be, you know, it could be cost, you know, this price one hour, and then uh, an hour, maybe even less than that, the price going to jump. Due to what? The lack of, of the resources, or the lack of whatever they're selling, man. Like these gas prices, they're going up. So we're gonna come. We're, we're coming to the Jacob's trouble, man. And, and a lot of these uh, Israelites, man, this stuff is gonna catch you off guard, man. You're gonna be you're gonna be confounded. You're gonna be looking for questions and answers that you ain't gonna have any. That's why the men of the Lord is out here now trying to warn you. And these things are uh, speedily approaching. Death is around the corner, man. Continue on the book of Jeremiah 51 and 8. Babylon is suddenly falling. Let me let me jump back up. Babylon, let me, let me jump back up to verse 7. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. That wine it means the philosophies, the customs, traditions, you know. The promises of Babylon the Great, man. A lot of them, some of these are broken promises, man. Therefore, the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take blame for her pain. If so, be she so like it. If so, be she may be healed, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. For her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lift up, lift up even to the skies. So the iniquity that's going on here in Babylon Great, man, is reaching its pinnacle, man. And once it reaches that top pinnacle, man, that's when the Lord is going to release his judgment here on Babylon the Great, man. The Lord's vengeance is going to be unleashed here in Babylon the Great, man, a.k.a. America, man. That's what this precept is going into, man. You know, you got uh, you got these jakes, man. They think this is some type of, of, of entertainment, man. We're not here, you know, even though it's already stated that we're going to be a spectacle to, you know, other men. But this is not here for your entertainment, man. This is not a, you know, latest fashion or latest uh, trend in black culture, man. Because we, we don't consider ourselves black. We already know what black leads to, man. Black is a label give it to you by your slave master, man. Black means evil, wicked, you know, void of light. The Lord of the men, the, excuse me, the men of the Lord, Salakia, is bringing upon true light by your Ha'abashim Yahushai, man. We're holding that true light in this gross darkness. So we're everything that this devil, we're the opposite of everything what this devil is trying to make of us, man. Trying to slander the men of the Lord. Not only us, there's also informants. People that look like the house of Israel. But they're really not the men of the Lord. It's trying to, you know, infiltrate um, and slander the men of the Lord, man. And all we're doing, which my the, the teacher, the men that I learned from, been doing for decades, man. 30 30 some odd years, man. Been doing this because of the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and teaching the, the true gospel the way it should be uh, taught, man. That's all the man is doing, man. 
we're not, we're not taking up arms. The Lord didn't say that. We're not taking up arms to go against Esau. We don't have no strength in our hand. We're the poor. This man got, this man got, you know, tanks. These, these, Jake don't got no tanks, man. That'll do you in. This dude got, not only that, he can just send a drone, man. He ain't got to sit. He can, he, can, he can sit for the comfort of his living room from an unknown location, fly a drone, and wipe your ass out, man. He don't need, he don't need to be right there up close and personal with you, man. So we don't have no strength in our hand, man. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai is our, is our rock, is our strength, is our foundation, man. We put our faith in him. He's going to come back and wipe this man out, man. And rightfully so, man. We're just hoping that we're part of the elect, man. That's what we hope for. This man got mechanical dogs. You, you going to soon, soon be Babylon. This is already done. In other places like Hawaii, I think it's in California, they're walking around with mechanical dogs now. Now, they don't have, like, canines. The, 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 you know, they don't have um, the canines that you're used to seeing. You know, your um, German shepherds or whatever you want to, or whatever they use, you know. They don't have them. They're, they're, they're up in the ante, man. They got um, mechanical dogs now, man. That have the capability of of uh, fastening a, 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 a what is that a sharpshooter or or, or or something like that on the back of these dogs, man. Well, they, well basically a, a, a rifle or something of that sort, man. So this, this man's coming. He's gonna come for war, man. The devil, the devil has come down with great wrath, knowing that he has but a short time, man. Yeah, because he has an agenda. His agenda is. The MOB, man. To uh, administer that microchip, man. That, that's, that's his main objective, man. And once you take that MOB, man, you're his property now, man. And the men of the Lord been warning you, and the men that I, talk, and I was talking from been warning you about this, man, for decades, man. Through the spirit and power of your Hashem, your Hashem, your man, we don't give we don't give credit to men. We give credit to the Most High, man. The Most High have revealed these things to His prophets, man. And those that don't get it, man, you don't get it. The Lord has blinded you, man. But hey, we're here to uh, uh, make aware of the children of Israel that man, it's time to repent, man. Or you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, <laughs> pretty much you're gonna die, man. That's your fate. Either repent or die, man. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, Lord willing, I'm not gonna, um, go down with Esau Edom, man. Lord willing, man. I'm not gonna hold the hand of the devil, man. I'm not gonna go down with the devil, man. This is his portion. That's why he's able to take flights on private jets to anywhere anywhere in the world and do anything he his eyes desire man because the world was given into the hand of the wicked this is his this is his world the lord is a just man he's given the wicked its portion to rule but when Yahweh Shimi Habashah comes back it's going to be a righteous kingdom here on earth here on earth so like you ran by him and also given to the children of Israel, man, which is the, the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, and etc., man. The 12 tribes that make up the children of Israel, man. We're the sons and daughters of the Most High, man, Yasharullah, Prince of the Power, man. So that makes up what? We're going to be like gods on earth, man. 
That's the promise that we're, that's the promises that we were, we were given, man. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and David, man. Our forefathers, man. Lord willing, man. There's a book of Jeremiah 50 and 1. The word of the Lord spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet. Declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard, publish and conceal not, saying Babylon is taken, Baal is confounded, Murdoch is broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken in pieces. So that's what's going to happen here, man. All these so-called um, Baal is also Esau Edom, man. The devil, man. And, and, and um, it's, this is a dark parable. Baal is the devil, man. So all these statues, of, especially there's a great big one in South America, uh, Caesar Bozier fake white man Jesus, all that stuff going to be destroyed, man. It's going to be broke, uh, broke asunder, man. It's going to be wiped out, man. All these false idols. That stuff going to be destroyed when Yahweh Shem Yahweh comes, man. For out, of the, for out of the north there cometh up a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate. And done, Salaki, and none shall dwell therein. They shall remove, they shall depart both man and beast. In those days and in that time, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh the children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah together. So the, the children of Israel. Is the northern kingdom, northern northern kingdom. You got you know Simeon, which is the Medicans. You got Z uh, Zubalon, which is the Guatemalans, the Panama, Ephraim, which is the Puerto Ricans, Manasseh, which is the Cubans, Gad, which is the North Americans, Reuben, which is the Seminole Seminole Indians, Naphtali, which is the Argentinian and the Chile and the Chileans. Asher, which is the uh, Colombians and the Uruguayans, and um, Issachar, which is the Mexicans. That's Israel. We're, we're going into this text. We're going into this 